Welcome back. A multi-partner energy storage system project moved into phase three after Richland Energy Services, the project's distribution utility partner, connected the system to our first street substation in early January. The system could help the Bonneville Power Administration and electric utilities meet the energy challenges facing utilities in the Pacific Northwest especially during periods of excess energy supply when generation facilities are producing more power than the loads are consuming. As a Bonneville Power Administration customer, the city and ultimately our customers pay for capital costs needed to manage grid peak demands and maintain infrastructure reliability. This project will enable the city to determine the costs and benefits of deploying storage systems, which can be compared to making other distribution system investments. We were invited by Energy Northwest and Powen and PNNL is involved in it and BPA to, to partner up with this, uh, this energy storage device. And so this uh, energy storage device is a, a 20 foot uh, shipping container and uh, full of batteries and an inverter. The unit does store energy and then allows us to discharge that energy back during the, another period of time. But the real savings for, for a potential that we're trying to demonstrate is the savings in, in demand, the, the KW. And uh, if you think about it, is, is when, does, uh, when does most power get used? Uh, we wake up at in the morning, six, seven, turn on the coffee pot and the shower, jump in the shower, and, and the usage goes up during that time. The, the, the power usage goes up. And what we're trying to do is, is, is free up capacity um, on not only on our distribution system, but then on, on theoretically on Bonneville's uh, transmission system. And so that they don't have to generate as much power during that morning period and, and it can come from this energy that was stored during the nighttime. And so it allows it to, to shift that demand that would have been in the morning to be generated or, or put back into the system from the battery storage. So it's a shifting of the demand. Most places do not store energy. It's, it's one of the, call it the holy grail of power industry is being able to store. And w when we have uh, wind, there are times when wind is plentiful or when hydro is powerful or plentiful, and we want to be able to use it, uh, store it and use it uh, later. And batteries are, are the one mechanism to do that. And so there's pros and cons on batteries uh, um, as, as we've used for, for decades. And uh, this is uh, utilizing a lithium ion battery, which most people are uh, probably more familiar with from uh, the same type of battery or similar battery that's used in their smartphone or, or their cell phone. It has a good energy density, it's fairly light, and it has a, a good number of recharges. And so being able to store energy is what most utilities are, are looking to um, as another way of saving money. This was a great opportunity for Richland to, to team up with uh, not only Energy Northwest, Powen, uh, PNNL, and Bonneville in, a, in an energy storage uh, uh, project uh, that can be beneficial for uh, wind generation, distribution, and end-use customers. Testing of the energy storage system began back in October of 2012 and is scheduled to conclude in September of this year. Once the distribution system testing at the First Street substation is completed, the unit will then move to PNNL facility for the final testing.